Next slide is about a very important and cool tool, a utility called the SQL Performance Analyzer or the SPA. So um, the SQL Performance Analyzer or the SPA is a part of Oracle Real Application Testing Pack, and you can use it to validate changes made to the database system. So SPA provides a fine grain assessment of your environment changes on the SQL execution plans and stats by running SQL statements in isolation and serially in before change and after change environments. So the image on the top left is a, is a kind of a flow diagram to understand it better. So it first captured the SQL tuning sets, runs pre-change trails and make the change for you for the SQL statements. And from that point, you have two options to choose, either implement tuning recommendation or you run post-change trials and then compare the SQL performance, study the comparison reports, and that will prepare and then implement the best possible solution of the tuning recommendation. And to make it a little more easy to understand the SPA thing, I have few snippets that you, see, uh, that, you, that, you that you will be able to see just before this flow diagram is uh, are few of the snippets from the capture versus replay report from one of the system where we can clearly see two of the regressed C select statements marked in red. And they took, first one took 5.9 hours and uh, 0.6 hours respectively to complete. So which is, for the first one, it's 7175% of the change in the average response time and almost 6861% for the second one. And this is the best use case to try and test and tune them using SPA before you implement the solution in the target system. And the good thing about the SPA functionality is it's very well integrated couples with a existing SQL tuning sets, SQL tuning advisor, and SQL plan management functionalities. I guess uh, it will be good to explain it through a quick demonstration, a quick demo, a short video that I have prepared uh, just to show you how this SPA thing works in conjunction uh, with the SQL Tuning Advisor and how it can save all of those performance nightmares and can help us to avoid SQL performance degradations, which might happen on the target database after the moment. All right. so. This is the performance hub page and here if you see that like, this is one of the SQL that's very heavy or costly in terms of CPU usage. So once you click on that SQL and click on tune SQL, then you go and create a uh, or schedule a SQL tuning advisor. And once uh, you click on the submit, then it's where you started doing the work. It's create a new SQL tuning set for you. Uh, just give me a second. Uh, hmm. All right. And once that part is finished, then uh, it's basically giving you two recommendation. First is either you can go and create a SQL profile or else you can create an index. These are the two automatic recommendations given by the SPA. And uh, now, after that, you have two options. If you want to implement this this uh, finding, this recommendation, or you want to validate it with the SPA, the second tab, if you see here, right? So before going and implementing any of these two solutions, like for example, we are not sure if the SQL profile will give us any benefit. So for that, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's a risky to implement, right? So we'll go and validate with the SPA. So I'm going to click on that option and that will take you to another page and now, uh, so if you see like success to submit your validation SQL profile using SPA, so that has been successfully submitted. And next it will basically do some comparison. And uh, once that comparison is completed, here you'll see it has performed several trials uh, of the SQL statement in the current existing environment. Sorry. Oh, what has happened? Okay, let me directly take you to that page. Uh, yeah. All right, so once uh, the trials are successfully completed, and uh, the next thing, it will provide you the result. Here, if you see, this is the final result, and it says um, that that 
that's not a good idea because if you check this regressed impact regression impact it says minus 873 percent so it's not a good idea to go and implement or create the sql profile that's what basically will worsen the situation and will not improve the sql performance right so uh, it's good. Like it also giving us few recommendations. Like if you want, you can go and create a SQL plan baseline, or if you want, you can pre-run the SQL tuning advisor, or if you want, you can create the SQL tuning set again. So here at this point, so it's it's clear. Like um, out of the two recommendations that SQL tuning advisor gave in the beginning, first is to create a SQL profile is not a good idea. So maybe we can would like to try with index creation if that will help us to solve this, this performance issue with the SQL. So yeah, that's how the SQL plan uh, performance analyzer or the SPA works.